So in one of my videos, there was a comment in the comment section and the person was like, it's their country, it's their rules. They choose what they want to do. And it's making a lot of sense now. Honestly, it is their country. So it's their rules. They choose what they want to do, when they want to do it and how they want to do it. And there's nothing we can do about it, honestly. Because one minute, they're doing all they can to reduce both illegal and legal migration. Another minute, they realize that they may need to bring in some people so then they would relax the rules for certain people to still come into the country i mean look at all the things that their home office has done to reduce even legal migration no dependence for care workers no dependence for postgrad students blah 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 just to reduce migration just to reduce the number of people that are coming here even those that are coming legally but another minute they are considering lowering the visa requirements so that people can come in for certain reasons or certain kind of people that can come in to benefit the country. So somebody might ask, why this long talk now? Why this long talk? So Kia Stama, the current prime minister, was saying that he agrees that there is a new revolution. This new revolution is going to transform the world and has even started already. According to Kia Stama, he believes that this new revolution can help doctors detect diseases early. It can reduce wait times in the NHS. It's going to help or boost economic growth in the UK. It's going to have so many benefits. And it was because of this that after some few days after they were elected into power, he commissioned Matt Clifford CBE to develop an action plan. So what is this revolution Mr. Keir Stammer is talking about? This is artificial intelligence. So Keir Stammer believes that artificial intelligence is going to be the new big thing in the world. And you know, as a prime minister of the UK, he wants obviously the UK to be one of the best or one of the most known in the world when it comes to artificial intelligence. So when he was elected into office, just some few days after that, he commissioned Matt Clifford CBE to develop an artificial intelligence action plan on how the UK can be the best when it comes to artificial intelligence and how the UK economy and the NHS and everybody in the economy and all other sectors in the UK can benefit from artificial intelligence. So this body or this organization went to sit down and think critically on how the UK can benefit from artificial intelligence. The board that sat down came out with 50 recommendations as to how the UK can harness AI and become the world leader in AI. And some of these recommendations caught my eye and some of them are related to immigration. And that's what I want to discuss in this video. So if you're interested, stay tuned. <laughs> so let me say that I cannot go over all the 50 recommendations that the organization or the body came with. Very, very good ones. The ones that caught my eye were about three of them. And let me mention the first one. So just for those who want to read the entire document, the PDF, a link to it will be in the description for anybody that wants to read it for themselves. So the recommendation number 18, it says they are recommending to the government to launch a flagship undergraduate and master's AI scholarship program on the scale of roads, Marshall or full bright for students to study in the UK and it's open to a diverse initial cohort of 100 scholars from the UK and abroad. The program would combine financial support, cohort building, industry co-investment and placement in government or private sector AI organizations. Potential scholars must show exceptional promise but recognizing the broad range of talents needed for success in AI. This could be in a variety of fields such as strong performance in leading STEM competition, example the International Mathematical and informatics olympiads and then their recommendation number 20 they are saying that within the next year the government should establish an internal headhunting capability on a par with top ai firms to bring a small number of elite individuals to the uk they're saying the government should build on the success of the ai safety institute in attracting top talent this may include recruiting more people into aisi uk sovereign ai or the other public ai labs as well as UK-based companies. Officials will need flexibility to develop specific offers and provide wraparound support to talent targets. Recognizing that to truly headhunt talent, the program will need to be backed by appropriate funding. And the other one that is very, very immigration related is that the government should explore how existing immigration system can be used to attract graduates from universities, producing some of the world's top AI talent. Graduate 
straight from some leading AI institutions such as the Indian Institute of Technology since 2020, Carnegie Mellon University in the US are not currently included in the high potential individual visa eligibility list. Government should take steps to develop new pathways and strengthen existing ones to support these graduates. It should also explore how best to address wider barriers like the cost and complexity of visas which creates obstacles for startups and deter overseas talents from relocating to the UK. So like I said, the recommendations were 50 in total and some of them like the number 18, the recommendation number 18, they say that the government should bring about scholarships for people that are to do their undergrad and masters in AI programs in the UK and all of that and another one they are saying that the UK should headhunt for you know people that are you know gurus in AI and bring those people to the UK to help them boost the UK's you know AI network or AI you know sector and then the other one is that the government should relax some immigration rules to allow for people who are you know into AI top talent in AI who are overseas to be able to come and then they should also make the current pathways a bit easy for AI top talents to be able to move into the UK because they want the UK to be like the leading country when it comes to AI so you have to do all of these things so these were the recommendations and then they mentioned specifically that when it comes to easing some of the pathways for instance there are some universities that are known worldwide to be good when it comes to artificial intelligence programs and all of that however these countries are not even on the UK's global university list for the high potential individual visa so there's a particular visa category in the UK known as the high potential individual visa so just like the name says it's for high potential people for them to get a visa so with that kind of visa you don't need a sponsor to come to the uk but you should have graduated from a certain university so there is a list if a university falls in that global university list of the uk and you graduated within the last five years you don't need a visa you can just apply and then come to the uk so if you attended any or you graduated from any of those universities on the list you qualify to use that as a reason to apply for your visa without a sponsor without a job offer and come to the uk and you come to the uk to stay for at least two years and then by that two years i'm sure that you'd have found your way around and this recommendation the board this ai action plan they are saying that there are some top universities that are known for ai that are not even on the list so if you want the uk to become like the major ai power country then you should consider relaxing some of these your strict immigration rules and ease some of these things so that you know people can come so they made mention of some universities that are known for ai their ai let me say intelligence or knowledge yet they are not even on the uk's global universities list so that is what they're doing so now they submitted these 50 recommendations to the government and kiastama and the government they sat down and then they said that this recommendation we agree this one we agree this one we agree so for the number 18 the recommendation number 18 the one about introducing sort of like a scholarship for people that want to do undergrad in ai or postgrad in ai courses he said we agree and said they are going to deliver this by autumn of 2026 so guys be on the lookout okay if you have a brother if you have a sister who wants to do a course in ai in the uk they are going to launch scholarship schemes very very soon by autumn of 2026 that's what the delivery time is so they are saying that they agree the government says we agree dsit will work with ukri to explore whether the ai scholarships are best placed at undergrad masters or phd level with the aim to establish a new prestigious scheme by autumn 2026 so guys be on the lookout and when it comes to the recommendation of number 20 where they have to bring top ai talent from other countries here they also say we agree the government says dsit and department for business and dbt will consider how this could be achieved learning lessons from dbt's existing global entrepreneur and global talent network programs and they said by spring of 2026 this will be done now let's look at the one about relaxing visas for immigrants so let's look at the recommendation said exploring how the existing immigration system can be used to attract graduates from universities producing some of the world's top ai talent the government said well i partially agree <laughs> So I understand. Honestly, I didn't go through every single recommendation and whether they agreed or not, but most of the ones I went through, they agreed. The only one I saw that was partially agreed was this one. And honestly, I think the government is being very diplomatic, you know, in their response to this because Britain is upside down. Everybody wants them to cut down on migration. And the topic of migration is what the other parties are using, you know, for their campaign, you know. So if you say that you're going to invite more people in when everybody wants people to go out or most british people want people to go out and reduce migration they cannot just say that we agree and then it will be headlined that 
when we are trying to fight migration you are now trying to bring a new visa category for more people to come inside so i think it's a political way of answering this because they said they partially agree and this is what they said they said the industrial strategy will set out how the uk will attract high skilled ai workers from abroad so they have agreed the uk offers internationally competitive visas that can support a range of individual needs including for talent to join uk-based organizations or to start their own business talented ai graduates from institutions not on the hpi eligibility list can enter the UK through any one of the number of other visa routes, including skilled worker visas, innovator founder routes, global talent routes, the skill up work visa, and the government authorized exchange route. So they said by summer of this year, summer of 2025, they would have delivered, you know, this part, you know, in terms of the immigration aspects to attract more talent. Now let's look at the visa categories that exist as of now for AI talents to come to the UK. So the first one that we have is the skilled worker route, where if there is an AI AI company in the UK and they advertise a position and they are not able to get anybody in the UK to fill that position for they are a licensed company they can recruit somebody from outside the UK to come and work on a skilled worker visa so that's the first one and there's another one called the innovator founder visa so this one you don't really need a sponsor you can use this visa route to come to the UK to set up and run an innovative business it should be an innovative business and the business idea must be something that is different from anything else on the market so obviously with ai if you have something very special when it comes to ai you you must have your idea assessed by an approved endorsing body so you lay out your plan your business plan and all of that and i've interviewed somebody a nigerian man actually who came to the uk on this visa category so if you are ai talent and then you, you have a plan a business plan and how to and this is different this is not like anything that people have seen before it's quite unique you can use that visa category to come you don't need a sponsor you just need to be able to impress the board and that's it and the other visa category that was mentioned that you can come with is the global talent route. I have interviewed a Ghanaian lady who's a seamstress who came to the UK on a global talent visa. So with this one as well, you don't need a sponsor. You don't need to find a job. You can get the visa, come with your family to the UK and work in the UK and you should be either under academia or research arts and culture or digital technology and in this case AI as well. So you can apply and then once the endorsing body approves your application, you can come to the UK. The good thing about this one is that you should not just be a leader you should be a potential leader in the field of either arts and culture digital technology ai academia or research so you shouldn't be like the best of the best if you are a potential even you know they can give you this visa yeah and it's a good one as well and then you can come with a skill worker route so this visa also allows talented professionals to come to the uk to do an eligible job for fast growing uk business so your uk employer must meet specific eligibility criteria in order to sponsor skill up work so it's also known as like a scale-up business and then they have the government authorized exchange route a temporary visa for workers coming to the UK just for work experience or to do shadowing or to train or to take part in an overseas government language program or undertake research or fellowship through an approved exchange scheme so it's like an exchange program so these are some of the ways that you can use to come and then the high potential individual visa if your university is on the list but now that they are saying that they are going to get this delivered by summer of 2025 it's very possible that we are going to see maybe more universities being added to the list especially universities that are more under technology and it so we should look at that we're just waiting for summer 2025 right and then we can also see if there'll be any you know relaxation in terms of the possible visa routes or maybe they will relax the eligibility criteria by summer 2025 to allow more ai top talents to be able to get visas to come to the uk so if you have somebody who is in school doing an ai related program or in an ai related field and the person really wants to come and live in the uk opportunities are going to come by very very soon so they should stay tuned so this is all i had to share the fact that the government has partly agreed to relax immigration rules for people that are coming to the uk to come and do top talent in the ai field partly okay just yesterday you were complaining that you are too much and you want to reduce migration now you've agreed to relax rules and then anyway thank you so much for watching guys for more updates on immigration news make sure that you are subscribed to this channel make sure that you have hit the notifications so that when i upload you'll be notified thank you so much for watching bye